Alright, so we will be discussing Poisson distribution in this video and we will be covering everything that is uh, in this topic and we'll solve a couple of questions and cover, um, hopefully cover all the kinds of questions that appear in the paper. So, a Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution like a binomial. But the only difference is that uh, a binomial distribution has a limit, right? The n is specif specified, right? It's finite. Poisson distribution, on the other hand, is infinite. That means it can go all the way to positive infinity. And uh, the events occur over a time or interval or a space let's say uh, the events occur uh, per minute or per hour or uh, per liter or uh, let's say per liter per kilometer or per kilogram things like that so events occur over a time interval or or space right so in binom in a binomial distribution we have two parameters we have n and we have p this is when x follows a binomial In a Poisson distribution, we have only one parameter that is lambda. Lambda is basically your average rate at which the event occurs. So x follows a Poisson with lambda. In a Poisson distribution your expected value is lambda and your variance is also lambda. Right. So what do we uh, figure out? We figure out that a Poisson distribution is infinite. Events occur over a time interval or space. There's only one parameter that is lambda. The expected value is lambda. The variance is lambda. And the formula. The formula to calculate uh, a calculate probability is probability of x equals to any integer is e to power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to power x upon x factorial. This is your formula for calculating a probability in a Poisson distribution. Now, let's move on to a question. Let's say x follows a Poisson with uh, lambda equals to 4, right? let's say we have to find probability of x probability of x that um, equals to 5 to solve this all I have to do is e is to power minus lambda over here that's 4 into 4 is to power x that is 5 upon 5 factorial and I get my answer let in another example let's say probability of x is less than equals to 2 so this will be probability of 0 probability of 1 and probability of 
right so you calculate each probability and you simply uh, add all these probabilities up and once you uh, add probabilities up you will notice a pattern let's say if I do this one this will be e to power minus 4 into 4 is to power 0 upon 4 factorial plus e to power minus 4 into 4 upon 1 factorial oh sorry and just this would be simply 0 factorial not 4 factorial plus e to power minus 4 into 4 to power 4 squared upon 2 factorial now if you notice a pattern you'll realize that this is simply e to power minus 4 taken common 1 plus 4 plus 4 squared upon 2 factorial right so we can say that a sum uh, a sum let's say a sum to n in a Poisson distribution is simply e to power minus lambda 1 plus lambda plus lambda squared upon 2 factorial plus all the way to lambdas to power n upon n factorial wherever you want the sum to be so this is what uh, a shortcut way to calculate a sum you simply uh, e to power minus lambda and then uh, if 1 plus lambda plus lambda squared upon 2 factorial all the way to where you, wherever you want the sum to be um, let's do one last part for this let's say probability of x greater than equals to 1 so we know that uh, a Poisson distribution is infinite, it can go all the way to positive infinity. So what we can do is 1, that is a total probability, minus probability of 0. So this would be 1 minus e to the power minus 4 upon 4 factorial, sorry, 4 to the power 0 upon 0 factorial. and what will the answer is.